I have so many questions now. We got, what the fuck is that thing? There's a, is that a gun? Hold on, dude. You got a fucking gun? Can I, can, can I have this? How's it going, you filthy peasants? Straygast here, and we're back once again with another episode of My Little Blacksmith. And holy shit! Has this game ever changed? Now, I haven't looked too deep into it yet, but you can tell by fucking Tron horse over here. Uh, yeah, a lot has changed in the game. And I quickly looked over it. There's supposed to be mining now. There's supposed to be a different mine. Uh, I see a new thing over here. I think this is probably where we take our rocks to smelt or that we can actually mine, which is really cool to me because the boring part about this game was being able to order everything. Now, you still can seem to order stuff, but the idea of being able, able to mine your resources as well is just awesome. So we're back. We're actually at a whole new game. I lost my old save state, so I'm sorry if you guys were hoping we'd be checking out that one. I actually think they prob it probably wouldn't work anyways because the game has changed so much. So you can see... Uh, very, very beautiful out here. We got some guys walking around. I don't even know if I'm gonna open the store yet. I might do some exploration first. And what's this? We got an iron pit, or sorry, a copper pickaxe, uh, and, oh, okay, let me, let me get used to this again. It's been a while since I last played. Now, I'm assuming this is on here because it wants me to use the pick, so, uh, we're gonna equip this thing. And now we got a pickaxe, so... I'm assuming, I don't even know if there's mobs out here. Like, I don't know how in-depth this game is now. So how do I horse idle, left click? And I think what this guy does is, yeah, he just follows us and we can actually use his wagon to store things. So that's really cool as well. Now we also got these crates over here. So I'm, I'm gonna bring these with me because I think if I remember correctly, yeah, you can move these as well. So we can use these to store or and whatnot if we do find any out there because I have no idea where it is. We're just gonna do a little bit of exploration before we open up shop and start doing some blacksmithing. So we, we, we got two crates in there, that should be enough. So we'll just get this guy to follow us. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go look around out here. Now, this game is really, I, I've always hated the fog in this game. I don't know why they keep it. Now, can we mine like just these rocks up here possibly? What's going on here, Wilbur? I thought I told you to follow me, buddy. Don't look at me like that. You you, you know you're the one in the wrong here, so I... Oh, oh. Wait, it said, it said it was following. Horse following. Horse idle. Oh, wait, is it... Okay, now it's idle, and it, does it just not want to follow me? Do, do, do I have to, like, tame this horse? Okay, there we go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, now you know what you're doing. Okay, that alone is cool because I didn't expect to have my own horse today. Okay, don't, don't, don't. I feel like this guy's gonna attack me or something. He does not look of this world. So, uh, yeah, I gotta kind of watch where we go here because I'm assuming this guy... Well, it even says in the update that the horse is still a little bit wonky. So, we'll see if he can follow us. Worst case, we lose poor Wilbur. Oh, God, what are you doing to the wagon? Wil Wilbur, you're... Wilbur! What the fuck? Wilbur, stop! Slow down! Hold on here, buddy. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, are my crates... Where... Wilbur, where are the crates, Wilbur? All right, well, this horse is fucking worthless. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. I've lost two of my crates. They're probably somewhere easily over there. But, uh, yeah... I don't think, I think the horse is more for probably gathering things that are closer to home. Uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be out here. That's the thing. I'm, I'm just looking for a mine. There's, there's something going on. That is definitely a door. Wilbur, I think we found it, buddy. I think we found the mine. Okay, there's probably so many other secrets out here because I've been traveling for probably, I mean, it's not a huge map, obviously. This is an indie game after all, but I've been traveling for three or four minutes, so I didn't expect that. And I expected like a little hole in the ground, not a fucking dwarven mining fortress or something. I don't even know. Wilbur, can you even get in here, buddy? Okay, you're knocking over the wagon again. Yeah, Wilbur, you are you 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 need some training, buddy. That's what you, that's what you need. Okay, but check out this guy. Like this is this is my little blacksmith shop. Ooh, it is it is dark as shit in here. Wilbur, I can't see the light. Uh yeah, it looks like Wilbur's actually waiting there. So uh shit, I might need to figure out how to get light or may maybe I can make torches. Uh wait, okay, so we do got some glowing rocks in here. Listen to this, though. The atmospheric sounds are amazing. Now, can I mine these? No, I think these are just pretty much here for light. There's a door in here. I don't know if I should really go towards that door. I feel like I should not be here, but uh, this is... 
This is really freaking interesting. Oh, hey, look at this. There's a torch. All right, so we can bring this with us. And that looks like ore over there. I can see something inside the rock. So let's just uh, check this out real quick. Yes, that's the copper vein. So if we whack this, there we go. We get some copper ore, cooled copper ore. Okay, and we also got some stones. I don't know really what the stones do. So we'll figure that out later on. I'm gonna have to come back here with some sort of storage because I'm not gonna take one ore by one ore, but we can hit all these and get the stones in here. And I think we'll have to kind of be very careful with Wilbur and bring them back in here because, oh, there's a coal vein too. What would coal even be like? Would that be for steel? I gotta assume. Yeah, because there, there's no other use for coal in the game. Okay, so we got three different resources now. My bigger question is, can we open this thing? No, we cannot. Uh, I, f I feel like there's some secrets in this game, though. We, we have to figure it out. Okay, so we know, or I know of where the mine is, so at least we can find it again. You know what? I'm actually going to bring one of these ores back just to see how to do it, because I'm curious. But I think it's that machine on the side of the house, so we'll, we'll bring a cooled copper ore. All right, hello, Wilbur, and hello, yellow freaking blinding light. I thought it was nighttime. All right, let's go back home, buddy, because uh, I got a copper ore to check out. Oh, my. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> this is... Why Why does the fog... I mean, I don't mind the fog. It's kind of creepy, but sometimes they overdo it in this game, man. Okay, it's actually directly down this kind of open passageway, so... Actually, I think I can use Wilbur. We just need to basically walk straight between these two rocks. I need to remember that, make a mental note, because that's exactly where the mine is. So that's not too bad. Now, how do we... Because we need to turn this into an ingot. Uh, I don't think it's not as simple as just heating this up. No, obviously not, because we need some sort of mold, right? So is there, like, a square mold? Oh, yeah, that's for sure, right? We got a mold right there with a pour spout. So we need to... I'm assuming we put this in here, like so, and we got some wood over here. Oh, look at that. There's a door down there. Can I turn it on somehow? I'm assuming I need, wait, do I need to put the wood in? All right, we're just gonna ram it in. Oh, this is, this, this looks weird, guys. This looks real weird, and it's too tight. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm assuming, I know you, well, we have four slots to equip things, so maybe I need to make an axe for myself or something. So let's go back into the blacksmith. It's been a while since we've used the blacksmith as well. We start off with some copper here, so let's get my uh, foundation down to figure out how everything works. There's nothing really new in here. Ooh, I can actually move these. There's, 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 there's gotta be secrets with like certain items, because I love that you can move like, can I move the chair? No. Uh, but I can move a lot of the stuff in this game. And you know you can do something with them. Okay, drop my apple. Let's just put the apple on the counter over here. Uh, is there any new weapons? So we got one-handed swords, great swords. I know there's a stat system now with the weapons. That's all I really know. So, yeah. Okay, the handles are over here now. There's some more storage areas so we can be more organized, but I'm never organized. So I'll, I'll do my best. But, uh, yeah, I think... I think I pretty much understand everything here. I got my hilts up here, or my guards rather. Where is my, um, my, my handles? Do I not have any? They have to start you out with some, don't they? I mean, I guess they technically don't because we have some money as well. I think I saw we had 21 gold or something. So I guess we're gonna order, how many, how much are these? $7 each, oh man, we're back to the start again. So we gotta buy the basic stuff. So we're just gonna place an order for those two things. There we go. Amazon Prime, gotta love it once again. And uh, yeah, we'll just bring this in here, get kind of set up. So before we get any customers in, at least we have a little bit of a selection to do. All right, and I'm gonna bring the uh, crafting sheet over here because it's been a while since I've last played, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use that for reference. All right, so I think we're pretty good now. I think I'm gonna try and build an axe. So what do we need for an axe? Well, the problem is I don't know what kind of axe I need, so we got the one-hander axe and the two-hander axe. I'm assuming for a wood-cutting axe, it would be two-handed. You're not one-handing. Well, I mean, it depends on the size of the tree. But let's just try this out. So we'll do that, and... Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done this, so I gotta remember... Fuck, I don't even know how many ingots it's going to take. I think... All right, there, there's... I think you gotta open up a, something, or... I mean, it's, it's been so long. So we're just gonna put all my copper down here. We'll heat her all up, and then we'll figure out how many ingots we need. I, I believe it tells you when you start building it, uh, what you can build with two, three, or one ingot. Uh, oh, we got a bellow now, too, to turn it on. So there we go. 
heat up the ore. And I guess I gotta go probably back to my hammer to uh, make this stuff. So heated copper ingot, there we go. Now, is there a way? Okay, we put that on there and I forget what I have to do. Radio menu is Z. All right, that's actually a really confusing button. I wish it wasn't that, but uh, yeah, now we have a, the radio menu. So yeah, we can do blades, shields. Ooh, we can do shields now. I doubt, last time I played, we couldn't do that, uh, but we can't do axes. So we obviously know that we need more than one. I'm. It's probably two, right? Because only the three-handed or the three ingots is for the war hammers and the great swords, I believe. So let's try this again. And now, yes, we should have ax blades. So uh, let's try this. Just see what happens here. Here comes our first weapon in a long ass time in this game. And we got a heated copper single ax head. Now, can I change this? Oh, oh shit. Okay, so it's just one type of ax. So now if we put this on here, there we go. We cooled it down. Control to show stats. Now it says zero. I know there's a way there's a way to do stats, and I forget how to do it now. I think I gotta reheat this. And wait for it to be heated. There we go. And now I believe it was like a shift click. Oh, yeah, there we go. And now there's a quality bar. So it's like the old golf games. You have to get in the green area to get a better quality item. I actually really like this. I don't know why it's on the side and not in the middle, but okay. So here we go. Concentration time. And I did, I did, uh, guys, I didn't mean to click there, okay? <laughs> well, it's my axe after all. It doesn't have to be good. Uh, for the record, it was right click and not left click, which is confusing as shit. So I left click, nothing happened. And then I was just really confused and right clicked at the worst time. And yeah, that's how to do it. So uh, I don't know if I really like that. I think it needs a little bit of work, but it works good enough. So we got this uncommon thing. Now, can we see the stats now? I want to see. Uh, you can't actually see the stats. Am I, am I crazy? I thought you had to hit control to see the stats. Uh, wh whatever. We can't see. They're bad anyways. Trust me. So we'll equip that. There we go. We got a copper axe now. Now, if we go, do we just hit any tree or is there a special tree? Uh, you know what? Let's go. I don't know if I want to get rid of the, I I got to assume it's not going to knock down the tree, right? This game isn't that complex. So, uh, wait. 100% what? 90. Oh, this is going to take a while. This is taking 10 hits. My god. Oh, Fucking fuck! What? You lied to me! I thought I had to do five more hits, instead you bleed my fucking ears! That was the loudest fucking item ever. Okay, wait, do I have to do- Okay, so that was part one of the process. Are you gonna- Are you gonna blow my ears off again? Here we go! Okay, this time it did nothing. So, yeah, that was surprising. I'm actually- I'm kinda bummed I got rid of my tree now. I, I didn't- I honestly didn't think it would work. So, we got these now. We know how to get logs, which is good. I'm just trying to figure everything out right now. This is going really well, though, so I'm assuming we just hit these. They got 100% on them, and they should turn into, yes, firewood. Now, if we put this inside the furnace... Holy fuck, I'm having a hard time getting in there, guys, so hold on here. Let's grab it by like that, and then just slide it, slide it in. <laughs> this, this, this is unintentionally looking very sexual, and I'm sorry. So I don't know how much wood we need in there, but... That's enough wood for me. Okay, what do we gotta do? Oh, there's a button there. I didn't even notice it. All right, so we're gonna turn that bad boy on. Do we, okay, we still got the cooled copper ore in there, so I'm assuming when it heats up, we might not have to do anything here. Yes, there we go. It goes right into the mold. That is so cool. I love that you can make your own ingots now via mining. That's an amazing update to this game and something it desperately needed. Now, the bigger question is, is my tree gonna grow back? Cause I'm gonna miss that tree, damn it. Ah, uh, but yes, there we go. We got a heated copper ingot, and we didn't even have to buy it. That is freaking awesome to me. So I understand it now. I know how we get the ingots. I don't think there's a way to make uh, the hilts or the uh, grips or guards yet, unfortunately. But that those things are cheap anyway, so we should be good. All right, so now let's go. Uh, we haven't even really played the game yet. I need to actually change the name of the place because I don't want it to be called Click Me. Dre's all right. Weapon shop. So much better of a name. Absolute brilliance there. Let's just be honest. They're not going to be great. They're going to be all right. And you know what? That is very fitting. Can we actually do three lines? Dre's all right. I mean, some people say that, I guess. Uh, no. Okay. This, this sign really needs some work, guys, because we need to be really picky at what size we do. Okay. Seriously, can we not combine these into one? All right. So that, that's as good as we're getting it, guys. Dre's all right weapon shop. With an all right sign as well. 
Okay, shop's still closed. Uh, can we actually... I don't, I don't even know if there's a day and night cycle now. I don't even know if I need to sleep. Like, I, I really have no idea what's going on. But let's just open up shop and hope for the best, I guess. All right, so now we patiently wait. I don't want to jump to conclusions because I'm assuming there's a few more weapons now and people are going to be very picky. So I'm just going to patiently wait here like an excited entrepreneur looking for my first customer it doesn't look like there's really too many customers down here I, I don't think this was a really good spot to open up shop guys i mean well we do have a neighbor over here let's go i don't think there's anyone coming anytime soon oh wait wait did, did, did you want some shit from dre's all right weapon shop no okay fuck you too they uh what the fuck did they do to the character models too i don't remember them looking exact i mean uh, they were always wonky but I feel like they put on a padded suit or they're sumo wrestlers now. I don't fucking know what's going on, but... Oh, wait, wait, I see someone. I'm coming. Hold on, buddy. Oh, <laughs> little, little, little pop there. Okay, hold on, buddy. I'm uh, on my way home. What do you need? Give me a great sword. Oh, man, we're starting off strong here, aren't we? Okay, so we need... Uh, let's get this one-handed grip. Okay, we need a two-handed grip. We need a two-handed guard. How much time do we got, buddy? I'm a little worried... Uh, 141 seconds, lots of time. I'm confident enough. Now, are these... Oh, no, these are now cooled. So you do need to heat them up every time now. I believe last time you could just heat them up once and they were always considered heated. All right, but we need a two-handed grip. Now, how much... I don't even know where my money is. I always lose my money in this game. All right, I'm just going to get an ordinary two-handed grip for right now because, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no! Oh, no! Um, shit, son. I don't know what to do. Yeah, there's my money right by the chest, and I thought I had a little bit more. How the fuck? You know what? It's pro- I'm an idiot. I made myself a copper axe before I even opened up business. So, only thing I can really do is tell this guy, no, fuck off. Uh, I'm assuming that's what this X does. And wait for someone with a one-handed request, because, uh, one-handed request. You know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Uh, so I could actually make the damn thing. So little bit unfortunate but at least we're not totally broken totally stuck i mean i guess technically i could also break my weapons but uh yeah i prefer someone just come with a one-handed sword i'm here to pick up that one-handed sword i don't know who the fuck you talked to bro i just opened up what the fuck what's going oh I, th I, th I thought you had little pigtails wait do you I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with this guy the CJB. All right, we got another adventure here. Well, we should be able to do this at least, so let's go. Are these things cooled down already? Of course they are. Fucking shit. We got to do this every time? I, 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 at least let them be hot for like five minutes or something. All right, well, we may as well prepare in here. So we got the one-handed grip guard all ready to go, and these should be heated. So with a sword, it's two because a uh, dagger is one, and a great sword is three. So I know we need two. Let's uh, open this up and hit up the... Whoa, that's not confusing. Okay, so yes, blades. I, I want to make sure it's blades, damn it. And go back to the hammer. There we go. Let's make this thing. Let's waste no time. And let's not forget as well... Ooh, uh, control to show stats. So I just want to see... Oh, this one's even smaller. Okay, that, 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 that was just me being awful. <laughs> but yes, there. Now you can see the stats, and I'm assuming... Based on the stats, uh, obviously the weapon's gonna be worth a different price. So that's really freaking cool to me that they added that as well. And I'm assuming when we upgrade our character stats as well, that should improve my weapons. But there we go! We did our first sale, we got our first customer, and CJB has given us 33 fucking dollars. 33 fucking dollars?! That's not even- I don't think that's enough with- Hold on here, let me- let me do some math here, because, uh, I don't feel like that's enough. So we need two ingots for that. That's 20... That's 29 right there! So, now, to make a fucking profit, unless I need to do perfect weapons, but to make a profit, I need to basically mine. Because... Wait, what? Because that's too... Oh, no, okay, okay. Uh, nope, never mind. Two copper ingots is only $20, so I have something else on order right now. Probably that two-handed uh, grip that I wanted. So, still, that's like no friggin' profit. I guess, you know, it is an incentive to mine, which is cool. Uh, I'm actually curious, though. Did they change the prices? Because it was a little too easy to get uh, up the... What? Well, what I was gonna say is what it was a little too easy to go up the uh, metal trees, I guess you could say. But now, Adelite... Is fucking what a uh, hundred thousand? What the fuck is titanium? 
Yeah, fuck that. I'm fuck that shit. What? The f how? Like, I understand if we get to the point of these weapons, they're gonna sell for that much too. So, uh, I guess it makes sense. But what's even tin? Five hundred. So we go from ten dollars to five hundred. Great. All right. Well, that's fine. Everything's great. I guess we're just going to have a very slow progression now because uh, they, they probably want the game to last a little bit longer. So yeah, it seems like there's a lot less customers too. So that's just adding fuel to the fire. Uh, probably doesn't help that my uh, store sign says they're all right as well. Oh, okay. It's definitely nighttime now. So I guess we'll go to sleep. I don't know if that will help anything, but. Uh, I just want to see if I can even do it. Yes, there we go. Snooze in time, and my store's probably actually closed. I, th I think it automatically closes if I remember correctly. God damn door. So we have to... Oh, no. It is considered open. So, hey. Hey, are, are, are you running for some all right wares? Is an all right weapon what you want, sir? I mean, I, I'm judging by the fact that you have one shoulder pad on... Yes, this is exactly what he wants. All right, Trevor, Mr. Lumberjack here wants a two-handed axe. Okay, so uh, I, I really can't wait till I can get everything I need, like, stored, because there's nothing more annoying than needing to buy it every time. So, we got the two-handed guard. I don't need... No, axes don't need guards, right? Yeah, they don't. So, we just need the two-handed thingy, Madu, and, uh, yeah, we need to make an axe. So, that should be easy enough. Let's open up this. Uh, let's go back. And let's get one two-handed grip for right now. Amazon Prime, thank you very much. We'll break that open just because there's one thing in there. Uh, there we go. We got an uncommon two-handed grip. All right, now this little shithead wants an axe, so we need two. And come on, give me something good this time. Uh, I need to do the, the, the stat thing perfect at least once. So control to show stats. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Now we need to get those stats. So come on. Baby, come on, we can do this. I, I know how to do it now. And bam, 30 quality. I'm assuming that is close to perfect. So uh, yeah, damage is, oh, fuck. Okay, hold on here. Of course I do it perfect that I need to get rid of it. Uh, but I accidentally did a blade because I'm an idiot. So heated copper blade. All right, so there we go. We can hit this thing. Uh, let's actually change to, and I don't remember how to do this actually. Oh, fuck, no. No! What the fuck is... It's stuck. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now, I think... I, I I honestly don't remember how to change it back. Oh, shit. We got another guy coming. All right. Well, hopefully this guy needs a blade, but I really need to figure out how to change it back. So I've been trying here. Uh, well, what do you want? Uh, one-handed sword, and he's in a hurry. Well, this blade should actually work for a one-hander, right? I think it was one-handed, if I am correct here. So let's uh, go get the grips and everything that we need. Do I have enough money? Okay, I got 29 bucks now, so we don't need to worry as much. But I need the grip and the guards, so this should be... Whoa. Order one-handed guards version 3. Is there any difference in price? $2, $2... And $2. All right, well, I guess we'll try the version 3 just to see the difference. And we're going to get a one-handed grip as well. So we'll place that order. There we go. And ah, perfect. Got that stuff. All right, this guard looks a lot different, actually. It looks like a little uh, thing here. Now, we already got the blade all done, so we should be able to just put this together. This guy shouldn't run away on me, but I really got to figure out, like I said, how to reset this if I don't like it. But this thing is a perfect 30 I'm assuming, I don't know if uh, 30 is perfect, so we should get a decent amount of money for that one. Let's see. I got less. Wait, no. CJB gave me 33. The unknown one gave me 34. So I thought it would change it a lot. Clearly, uh, it's very a uh, minimal change, but it's worth doing at least. At least we know that. Blacksmith, I need a great sword. All right, that's actually something I'm excited about because we have all the resources to do it. And that's actually going to get rid of literally everything because we got three ingots left. Uh, so this should be fun. Now, I'm, I, I, are those gems still around? What is this thing, by the way? I didn't even, I don't want to waste too much time, but oh, this says something. Uh, oh, it's just credits. Okay, we'll read those later on. But I also want to find the gems because people were saying that you can put the gems inside the bath or something and get your uh, weapons extra stats. I don't know if that's true or not, uh, but I would obviously like to do it. So he wants a great sword. So we want to do a blade and bam, bam. And there we go. We got a copper large blade. Now, how many? Is there different ones now? Yes. Look at, okay, there's only two. But we're going to do that one. And let's not forget, we need to... Do the stupid little clicky thing, and come on, baby, come on. 
Fuck! I'm so bad! I have the I have the reaction time of a sloth. All right, well, that's shitty, but uh, he'll have to deal with it. Oh, fuck, get in there. We need to hurry up, kind of. All right, there we go. Give me, give me this. There we go. He's patiently waiting. It's nighttime already. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna... Oh, shit! No! Don't leave! Oh, I uh, the, the, the ding was it completed. So there you go. Take that shit. And perfect. All right, so I got that thing on the floor. How much did he give me that time? 48? That fucking feels like... Man, I, I, I am... I'm, I'm basically fucking free labor right now. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna close up shop because we don't have the resources to really sell anything else. Mind you, we do have $102 now. Bala Bala right here making all that dough. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, yeah, go back with... Oh, fuck, Wilbur. I didn't... Where... Where did I leave Wilbur? I- oh, there he is right there, Wilbur! <laughs> I think that's you anyways. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot about Wilbur for like an hour. So, so sorry, dude. Didn't mean to. But now the good thing is, we got a straight pathway here, so Wilbur should not run into any trees, hopefully. Uh, I need to go back and get those crates, though, because I'm gonna bring those crates in the mine to store things in them. So come on, Wilbur. Wilbur, what the f- you don't fucking listen to me! God damn, it's like my real-life pets are in this fucking game. Alright, are, are, are you good? You- yeah, there you go. Now you're falling, you little shitbag. All right, Wilbur, we got some work to do tonight, buddy. We need to go get some more copper because uh, I need it for my all right weapons here. So we'll put that in there. Uh, I probably only need one of these, but God knows uh, Wilbur will probably lose at least one of them. So let's just bring two. And my God, I just looked at the moon. That is like, that is not a moon. That is a planet right beside us. Like, what the hell? All right, Wilbur, so we should be good now to go, hopefully... All right, don't, don't fucking knock him over. Oh, fuck, Wilbur. Wilbur, you're scaring me. Fucking Wilbur! Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It worked out, buddy. Now we just need to slowly go this way. You know what? I didn't even think about this, but I could just carry the fucking crate home my, my, myself, and Wilbur would not really be needed. But you know what? I want to make him feel important. Poor old Wilbur is a new update. And yeah, we, we haven't really used him yet, so come on, Wilbur. We'll, we'll definitely use you here, buddy. Maybe we'll find something else along the way as well. Mind you, I've been over here. There's not... Wait, what is that? Hold on here. Stay, stay there, Wilbur. I don't trust you, but this would be really great if I wanted to get a bunch of logs all at once. Oh, that's just... Okay, these, these bushes look like boxes, man. They're everywhere. All right. I like... Does he actually... Oh, is he modeled or programmed to look at me when I get close to him? Because he does look every fucking time I'm close. Look it. Look it. Look it. Wilbur. Wilbur acknowledges me. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, I am very easily amused, obviously, guys. But that's cool to me, man. Because they didn't have to program that in. But Wilbur has a, a little bit of a personality, and that's good. All right, so we're almost there now. I'm just going to uh, make sure Wilbur makes his way up. I feel like there's... Oh, there's gotta be... I, I, I want to actually explore the map is what I want to do. Because this game has always had weird shit. I mean, we had that giant golem for whatever reason. We have saw swords and shields in the middle of nowhere. So you know there's secrets out here. Like, there, there's lots of secrets in this game. Uh, and I, I want to find all of them. But all right, Wilbur, you're going to stay here, buddy. And please tell me, yes, the crates are still in here. You did a good job, buddy. Now I need to go down into the creepy mines myself and go get me some delicious ore. Yeah, the ore that I mined went away, but the veins have come back. So we can just re-mine the veins. So we will do that. There we go. Stone, don't want that. At least I'm assuming you don't want that. I don't... Yeah, I gotta assume the stone is just pointless, and then the copper is the, the good in The good shit, that's what you want. I saw one fly over here. Where the hell... Alright, it's, it's fucking gone, man. Oh, there it is. Found it. And, uh, yeah, we're actually gonna be able to get a lot of copper ore in here. And this is gonna be a lot of money. I mean, if you think about it, it adds up. It's a little bit of a process to get to it, but especially later on, when they're like 100,000 ore higher each. It's just fucking ridiculous, man. And, uh... Actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to get better ore in here. Does it change when we get to the higher tiers? Or maybe this door opens up and bigger and better ore pops up. Maybe that's what that door is for. Because all you see in here is copper and coal. So that's an interesting thought. Wait, what is this? This doesn't... Oh, this is tin! Oh, shit, son! All right, I definitely want that because... Uh... Oh, shit, I can't... I can't fucking mine it! Are you serious? That's bullshit. Okay, I probably... What happens is I probably need a tin pickaxe to mine the tin. 
Ah, uh, so that that would make sense, I guess. Little bit of a bummer there. Oh, fuck, there's iron over here too. Now, now, now you're just teasing me. So I guess I only get a certain amount of nodes and then I lose them maybe because, oh, there's a copper vein over here, perfect. But yeah, it seems like the uh, veins that I've already mined have spawned into something else. So I'm worried we might lose all our copper here if we get unlucky. Oh, is that a, oh fuck, there's a crystal over there too. We found our first crystal. Now they change the location of these in every freaking update to this game, but they're always in here. So uh, this one is crystal, ooh, ooh, that's the dark crystal. That's not what, ooh, whoa, that's trippy. I thought that was uh, like something popping up, but no, this is just a very dark crystal. So uh, fear, so that can enchant weapons with free fear, I believe. So, oh shit, oh, oh no. Oh, no, grab it. I almost, if that would have went up there, I don't think I would have been able to get it because they fucking float. Where'd my ore go? Well, that would have sucked if I lost my fear crystal due to that. All right, so obviously, oh, for fuck, this is, this is stupid. How, how am I supposed to take, am I supposed to really do this one by one? That is not worth it for copper ore at least. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna hold it and oh God, hope for the best. All right, we're just gonna take this with us and I need to figure out how to get out. There we go, up here. I think I lost the vast majority of this crate. It looks pretty freaking empty in there, but you know what? Especially early on, we need to get as much money as possible, so this should even help us out here. So let me just, oh no, I, I, I don't wanna drop it because if I pick it up again, it explodes every time I pick it up. So I'm just gonna throw it, oh fuck. Okay, so there's definitely ore in there, that's good. And let me just take a peek, see? Yeah, a fucking three. Great, go, go me. You know what, I'm gonna grab this box. Oh, oh fuck, oh god damn it. God damn it, Wilbur. I don't know why I'm yelling at Wilbur. This is all me. I should I shouldn't blame my poor horse. Uh all right, so let's just fucking uh Ah, there we go. It's hard to pull it out without pushing everything everywhere. So there we go. We got that. I'm gonna go down into the cave again and just try and grab as much as possible because you know it's gonna fucking explode everywhere again. I feel like Wilbur should be able to get down in this cave because, uh, well, yeah, I know that, that would end very badly too. That fucking horse carriage would be gone everywhere and, uh, yeah, we would never be able to pull anything out of this. So I think there needs to be some sort of storage item that's better than a crate. Mind you, it's pretty fun. It's kind of fucking challenging, uh, but that's probably not what they're going for when it comes to mining. So, shit, where the fuck? I feel like these things vanish or they go into the... I don't even, I don't, I don't fucking know. Well, that's a bit of a bummer because uh, the other nodes have not regened yet. So I literally can't get anything else besides these three ore. I hope it's worth it. I mean, the way I look at it, I basically get a free greatsword. So uh, that's better than nothing, at least. A lot of fucking work for one greatsword, though, especially when they sell for fucking pennies. Literally, like $26. What the fuck is that shit? Or 40 or whatever it was. Doesn't matter. It's not enough. All right. So come on, Wilbur. Let's, uh... Gotta watch out, we got a big load here of three ore. Like really, what 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 is my eyeballs made of to have this much blinding light when the sun is setting? This is, <laughs> this is, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. That's exactly what it feels like. Not that I know what heaven feels like. God knows that I'll be the last person going there, but uh, yeah. Just saying you can work on the lighting in this game, I feel like. Or maybe that's the whole point, to make it foggy as shit so you're kind of always confused. Fog fever, if you will. But yeah, we're gonna bring Wilbur. You know what? I'm gonna park you there, Wilbur, because I don't, I don't trust that you won't explode and throw these things everywhere. What? Where'd the fucking... Oh, did I forget the other crate in the thing? Probably, so... Oh, God. Okay, there goes the other two. Really? Okay, where are these? They're, they're here, right? Please tell me they're here. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we did get one. I don't know where the other one went, though, so it's got to be somewhere. Wilbur, move your fucking crate for a second. All right, Wilbur, get it over here, buddy. Let's just pull you in here. This is a good parking spot for you, so uh, he doesn't understand that there's a fucking fence there. So he's just going to... Come on. There you go. Yeah, good job, buddy. There, we made it. All right, you stay the fuck there. Oh, there's a copper. Okay, I found it. It's literally in the thing, and I can't... There needs to be a way to climb into this because I can't... I can't... Can I open the back end? No, that, that, that would be convenient. Okay, we can grab it through the side, though, so that's good enough. And I don't know why I keep throwing them in this box because we know what the fuck's going to happen when I pick it up. And, oh, oh, okay, so we got two. I'll go grab the other one. I don't give a fuck. Gonna put these over here, and, uh, yeah, we'll grab that other one and cook these suckers up. And now we should be cooking. So I wonder if I, uh, yeah, I probably have to manually pull out each mold, or I, I wish it would do it on its own, but I don't think it's gonna work that way. So there we go. It's pouring in. 
And this is free money. This feels great for me. There's something rewarding about making your own materials. Even in a simple game like this, it's just that much more awesome. So we're going to go back to the hammer there. Heated copper ingot. There we go. We'll throw that over here. Look at it, guys. It's beautiful. We made that thing from scratch. And it's already pouring out the other one. There we go. We got another heated one. Oh, it seems to automatically make them. So I think it just overflows it, which is nice. You don't need to sit here. You can just stack as many as you want there. When they fix Wilbur, of course, I love the idea of that. Going out and mining like 20 at a time, just filling that thing up and getting a bunch of free ingots. But there we go. We've made four ingots officially from scratch. And that's the major point of this update, guys. Now, I do want to go check... There's a house on the hill here. I believe that house was always there. But I just want to explore a little bit more and see if they've added anything else. Because I don't recall that there's anything else. We got that house over there. I remember that was there. There's also a lake over there, I believe. And that's where one of the gems are. But this house was under construction before. So I just want to see if I have any neighbors. Is, it, is this town expanding yet or not? Or is it all me? Uh, oh, not for sale yet. Oh, okay. So this is probably going to be... Uh, somewhere where you upgrade your shop. It's already day five. Jesus Christ. I've only, I've only had two customers in this whole episode. But I wanted to check out the majority of the new stuff. I can't even see what you are, dude. But you're kind of scaring me. You got a little thing on you. Uh, and he's looking at me. Look at this. Oh, more crates over here I can steal. Okay, is there anything else over here? Uh, yeah, there's gotta be... Oh, no. But this looks like it's almost just like my house. Uh, we got the little back work area here. So I think this is, yeah, just an expansion house, more or less. Wait, is this ore? Ah, shit, son! Okay, so it's not just in the mine. We actually got some over here as well. I'm not gonna get any more right now because we don't got good old Wilbur. But this is cool, man. I just love exploring in this game. Oh, whoa, that's, uh, that's a tree there in the... Okay, so yeah, this is still in development over here, obviously. I can't even climb this. Please don't tell me I'm stuck. That would suck. But yeah, uh, the map ends abruptly, as you can see. So at least I know how far it goes. Uh, there's probably a little bit more over there. I'm just going to quickly go over here and see if there's anything new. Oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, the water's still over here. Oh, we got a boat now. Was it there? No, I think the, I think the gym was just in the water last time. So now it's actually in a boat. That's pretty cool. Can we actually swim? Yeah, we can. Well, it's kind of running in water, but we can definitely swim. Now, can we use anything with this boat? Um, now, I don't know much about the gems, guys. So if you could let me know in the comments, like, how they work or something. I believe you just put them... Well, I think I tried that. I think I tried to put them in the water, and it wasn't working for me. So probably in the next episode, if you guys are liking this, we'll uh, address the gems. See if we can figure out how to enchant that. And obviously, I like to progress a little bit more. Now that the game's updated a little bit more... I'm excited to see what's more in that cave because obviously, I mean, there's a huge freaking door in there that opens up and I thought it was to get to the next tier of items, but that's not the case. And I was hoping to be able to go over here, but it seems to be there's a wall. So I think that's pretty much it for the map right now. We saw the majority of the stuff anyways, and hopefully I can get out of this water. Thank God. Okay. I thought I was stuck in there for a second. All right. But yeah, wait, what is this? Uh, that's not fucking creepy. We got candles and a fucking podium with a book on it that is that, that is some ritual worshiping shit right here i'm getting the fuck out but yeah there's shit like that all over in this game and it's just like what where did that come from what does it do and you have all these questions so yeah i'd like to actually do some theory crafting in this game because i feel like there's a lot of questions that don't have answers we got another one of these guys just chilling over here too this is another guy that was up there we also got a well over here now yeah he's a legit knight so that might be armor that we can make in the future that's exciting i feel tired i know i've been fucking traveling forever man i just want to see okay we got some sort of banner here so this might actually be a legit building now Ooh, ooh, he hello Oh, a new face. Welcome to... Wait, I got fucking competition? What is this shit, bro? Where did you come from? Uh, so this guy is obviously my competition. And his store, as you can see, looks a hell of a lot better than mine. What the... F Wait, can I... Can I... Can I... Can I just... Can I just have this? All right. Well, we'll see you later. Uh, it was nice. Oh, fuck. I didn't... No. Oh, God, it went away. Okay, I don't think I can steal it. Wait, no. Did it? Did it? Hold on. Wait, now, now, now it stays? I think if I leave with it, I might need to buy it. So, you know what? I might have already bought something. I'm just going to leave it here. Ah, uh, but yeah. We got a neighbor 
Common wooden handle grip. Oh my god. I, this, this game. This game just has... I have so many questions now. We got... What the fuck is that thing? There's a... Is that a gun? Hold on, dude. You got a fucking gun? Can I... Can, can I have this? Man, you are building some next level shit. All right, I'm gonna stop trampling on your stuff. Uh, we'll be back here very soon, though, because I want to look deeper into this. But yeah, I didn't expect that. We got some competition now. All right, well, that was a little bit of a shocker. I didn't expect to see that. We also... What the fuck? Why, can, I, can I get on my roof? Oh my god, there's so many things I'm figuring out now. Uh, no, but there's a ladder up to my roof for some reason, but I did want to quickly check out this Give the actual creators some props because this is an amazing game And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one So we're gonna wrap up this episode here now Let me know if you guys want to see some more of this because it'd be probably pretty similar to my other playthrough of it But now obviously with the game how updated it's been I think there's enough to really do another mini-series on it. So let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>